Hello, welcome to the video. My posting day. My day to post videos is officially Thursday. Why? Because I feel like it's so close to the end of the week and you're in that final stretch. And sometimes you're just like, oh. you should be able to have some fun every day of the week and watching my videos is fun. So ha 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 ha. <laughs> Got in there. Good length video um, on Inktober. How I did. How I did Inktober. And how I managed to switch medias in the middle of the challenge. And if you want to stare at them longer, you can either screenshot the video or just go on my Instagram where there are very, very nice pictures taken of each piece. If you want to buy any of the pieces, let me know in the comments below. I will be opening my store pretty soon and I need to know what to get prints of. I have to finish a couple of things first, but in preparation, I want to know what originals I should put up for sale and what you guys want. So with that all being said, let's get on to the video, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, okay calming down my bay area have fun goodbye and good night <laughs> Whoa. Ah. hey guys what's up it's voiceover sid back at it again here to talk about inktober slash peachtober my experiences the trials and tribulations it was difficult all 31 days 31 paintings slash illustrations not easy but i got her done so first of all i wanted to address the elephant in the room i didn't use the standard inktober prompt list no i used the peachtober prompt list shan dianthe slash furry little peaches prompt list because i enjoyed it more like bridge oh my gosh concepts i did it conceptually because i didn't know what bridges look like when i was doing that illustration for some reason so i was like bridge to another universe just had to stop and explain what that was for a second but back to her list i really enjoyed the freedom and lack thereof in her list you can take it as face value like sword here i drew sword or you can take it conceptually and make a whole scene or mini universe with it or put put whatever the prompt is into whatever universe you've created for yourself as an artist or illustrator i also really liked the freedom in medium because inktober traditionally you're only supposed to use ink i don't know if it's color or not but i know for sure that one rule is you're only allowed to use ink and in her list and a lot of other creators lists the medium is boundless you can use whatever you want and this year i chose to do something different i chose to use media that i don't use but have in my arsenal so i used watercolor and colored pencils two things that i never use in combination with each other i always use either acrylic and watercolor or acrylic and colored pencils or all three together but never those two by themselves and it's because i personally have always been scared of the permanence that watercolor provides like it's always permanent whatever you put down there you can't always clean it up seamlessly you know like part of whatever mistake you made is always gonna be there and that is scary to me whenever i mess up in acrylic i don't worry about it because i can just cover it up with more paint later and you can't do that with watercolor so i was super scared in starting this and starting the journey but i got through it learned a lot about the process and about the process of layering but then halfway through i ran out of watercolor paper <laughs> so you'll see that <laughs> after day 15 i ran out of watercolor paper completely and 
it was gonna take too long to get to my house so i decided to not continue in those mediums that taught me a lot honestly i'm glad i chose the hard route because it taught me a lot about my style and the way i illustrate so i switched to digital mostly because i ran out of watercolor paper paper but also because i my studio space aka my room because i don't have a separate studio was being it was compromised to say the least so i used my ipad and procreate for the rest of the illustrations i liked this because i also used the challenge to experiment with different styles of illustration and to focus on children's book illustrations because eventually at some point in my life i do want to write and illustrate a children's book and what better way to practice than a prompt list where i can use these characters these stylistic characters and use these words you know illustrate it illustrate words that's the whole point so i used it for children's book illustration practice and i'm really glad i ended up doing that because i don't know how else i'd practice except like looking at things and being inspired by my surroundings but these days i my surroundings are very lackluster and that's due to COVID-19 <laughs> like it's affected most people's lives my life is a little bit more uninspiring because I don't go anywhere anymore <laughs> so there's that I also really just wanted to talk about the switching between mediums so I was sad because I wasn't consistent in using watercolor watercolor paper color pencil so I lost the cohesiveness in all of my works. Mind you, that's when I thought I lost it, but it was gone before I knew it. I lacked cohesiveness throughout the whole challenge, but that was a learning thing. I learned about cohesion and color palettes and how I kept using the same colors and how I tried to steer away from certain colors and whenever I use those certain colors I tried to steer away from like in this piece you're about to see they didn't turn out as good like the greens and yellows just don't sit well with me the more I look at this that piece the more I'm like I don't know about that and then I started towards the end finding what I wanted to get out of this challenge the cohesion the colors palette everything is in these last four or five i guess i don't know math i think it's five illustrations you see cohesion i i established what i wanted in texture and in color and that in itself those last five illustrations made the whole challenge worth it made all 31 days of that challenge worth it besides this one we we won't talk about her but you know to conclude i really enjoyed this challenge i'm redoing it right now don't know if i'll finish redoing it or not but but you know i'm having a great time so th that's it you know this is the last one <laughs> this is it guys i love y'all Y'all are great. I'll see you later. Ask me stuff in the comments or something. I'll answer. Okay. Yeah. Goodbye. And good night.